Hey, Amy. Hi. I'm You're on the go. <laughs> I am. It's a last minute thing. And I'm like, I got to join this meeting because I read this book. Uh, no problem. I think we have a lot yeah, to discuss. Time. Right. <laughs> lots to discuss. Uh, yeah, I have my thoughts about Terry, but yeah, lots to discuss. <sighs> I know there's people coming, they're just taking their sweet time. So giving them a second. Okay. That's perfect. I'm almost in my destination. Yeah. No, you're fine. <laughs> there's Asia, Topeka. Here they come. Okay. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hey. Hello. Hi, everybody. Like everybody's slowly making their way. I'm like another book chat has popped up already. I think that's an indication of the book. Yes. Let me tell you <laughs> these past few days. And see, I start to freak out because my method of reading now is that I do the audiobook and the ebook simultaneously because the audiobook gets me in a flow where I just can keep going. If uh -huh. I or even if I'm driving, I can continue to read. If I'm cleaning, washing dishes, I can listen and do multitask. But the fact that there was like no audio companion, I was like, yes, I'm never going to get yeah. through this. Like I was literally shaking. Like I have to read this on my own. Like I can't. So I let Alexa was, read it to me. And yes. And because and you guys recommended that abridged version. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um, because you guys <laughs> recommended that. I totally forgot about it, honestly, until Jess, like I used to, I think I put her on to buying Alexa years ago for mm -hmm. the same reason. And I totally forgot about it until she brought it up the other day and I was like okay let's try this and at first Asia I was having the same problems you were where Alexa the first time I tried she was tripping <laughs> like yeah. stopping starting wouldn't go then I would try to like do it from my phone and listen there while I'm like moving around the house didn't want to work it would stop like after a paragraph or so and I'm like over it so I tried it again yesterday and I probably got a good three hours in and then I did like the last three hours today from this morning as soon as the kids got off of school I was like and I finished like one by the time I you know with work and everything I think I finished like one two o'clock I don't even know when I sent y'all that message I was like good well Lord. I did not finish but it is what it is I just couldn't it was, do it myself anymore I was like you know what I actually had to work today like what it, it was meetings I was like where did yeah. meetings come from I yeah, I'll be honest, if it wasn't a book club read, I probably would have DNF'd it. Even in the just the first, like, I was turned off at the first, like, paragraph, like, listening to her. And Amy, I don't know what your feelings were on the book. Some of us have, like, talked a little bit about it, but 
just the run on sentences alone were driving me crazy. I'm like, put a comma, a period, something in this punctuation because she's, it's Stella's thoughts, but it just kept going and going and going. And for me, that it was tough to read that with no punctuation. I'm just like, and I think, I want to say Waiting to Exhale was similar. It's just been so long since I read it that I forgot. Although I really enjoyed that book, but I think the writing styles were similar because they're kind of written close together. Mm. But it's also interesting to see probably what the standard of publishing was back then when she published that versus what it is now. Because I think they're two different things. I think so too. I don't think it would have... I don't think... I'm trying to remember. So I don't remember re reading Waiting to Exhale. I know I read it, but I don't remember it. Yeah. I wonder if she got like a multi-book, multi-movie deal off the strength of Waiting to Exhale. Mm. Or because I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it, the writing style for me just wasn't it. And honestly, until y'all had recommended another like a more recent Terry book, I was done with her. Like, I just, I can't, I can't read her anymore. It's just, for me, um, I don't know. It's like the promoting herself within the book, <laughs> run on sentences. I did like the nineties references, right? Cause I, you know, grew up as a kid in those times and I'm like, oh yeah. Like I remember this song and um the movie that accompanied it like I just remember so much about the the different references that she made but I had a lot of problems with a lot of her characters um her sister Angela absolutely rubbed me the wrong way wanted to punch her several times like let your sister live you're miserable pregnant woman right now who has is married has a family is building a family you should be nothing but happy for your sister who's finding possibly a second chance at love who cares how old he is like stop being so miserable um that was number one Process. i felt like I felt like stella had too low of self-esteem for me um mm -hmm. it was kind of the constant needing reassurance of i'm too old i'm too old i'm too old we get it we know you're older than him we know you're 42 like Obviously, he doesn't have a problem with it. Just figure it out and move forward with life. So I that annoyed me, Stella's constant like questioning of the relationship, questioning her age, questioning his motives. Um, and then the other thing, Quincy, her son, once he got into it in the picture, I felt like he was a little too in her business. Like she was talking to him like he was an adult. And I just, I'm like, he's a kid. Stop telling him about your sex life and the things that you're doing like I just he's your kid stop talking to him so there was a few things that like just rubbed me the wrong way but I did finish it so there's that Angela made me glad I have brothers I, I was thinking that earlier today in one of their conversations in the book and I was like oh my god I'm glad I have brothers because they don't they protect I'm the oldest but they still you know protect yeah. They don't get in all into your business like that. Same. So, I have two brothers brother. too. So <laughs> yeah. And the sisters are like polar opposites. One's like, yeah, yeah, like go, go live your life, have fun, go, you know, find some Jamaican D, like let's do this. And the other one's just like, are you sure you're going to go by yourself? You don't want me to come with you? Like, First of all, knowing her personality, I never want you to come on a vacation with me. Like, never. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> uh, I did think she rambled. I, I, some of me thought, okay, Stella's thoughts about being too old and the back and forth. I thought, okay, this is kind of how you think about things mm -hmm. when you're trying to make a decision. You go a little back and forth about it. So that part was kind of good and then considering okay he's 21 there's a huge age difference but he's like well he's 20 when it starts right but I also felt like she rambled the entire book entire Terry. she rambled the entire and I don't remember that from the first time I read it so I'm like reading it at 52 is way different than reading it <laughs> in my 20s and I again like too, I'm wondering if it's if it was if we thought it was so good because at that point in time, we were so glad to have so many more black authors and so and I was much gonna say, access to black authors than we'd had before. 
if you first read it when it came out, that pro that could make a difference because again, the standard of publishing, like all of us are pretty into the books and the bookish world. So we've read a variety of things. We've mm -hmm. seen amazing works, right? We've, we've read it all. So to see something from that early stage, maybe the publishing standard was very different from what it is now, but like, yeah, the writing back then could have seemed different because we don't have what we have now, if that now, makes sense. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, publishing being different. I think publishing was actually better grammatically back then than it is now, especially for a lot of independents. I even remember some street lit that I liked better than what I like this book now. I'm even, I'm considering going back to read a couple of street lits just to see. And I still yeah. might have some here and there. But some of the street lit I, I remember reading before, I think I would still enjoy some of those better than rereading this. <laughs> I just tried to, you know, I don't think it's where we are now versus where we are then because I don't remember Way Next Hell being like that, honestly and truly, like that stream of consciousness. And then I was like, well, maybe that's a technique she was trying to use yeah. to show his mindset was but it was and i because there are other books that i've read that there that's a technique and not necessarily but that was just it was so much it was it was so much and so random yeah. and then i think her personal story and it being a representation of that that she met the younger guy and then that went all the way left and you know kind of sent he her was gay, wasn't he or something like that yeah 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 okay gay. yeah um but i and again, I'm remembering when that happened, not being 42, you know, probably in my late 20s, I guess, maybe when all that story kind of came out. But now being 42, and I'm like, there is no way a 20-year-old comes up to me. I don't care how funny he is. That's not happening. At all. <laughs> Not. If you're if you've been lonely for some years though and divorced for some years, <laughs> well, well, hold on. But let's say this: that wasn't her mission. wasn't to get into a relationship. It was I know. just to get some D out, right? And it evolved. There, there is so much tied up in my 42 years of life right now that there is no <laughs> way I'm letting, no matter how good it is, jeopardize that. It's not happening. Like I have to think financially and strategically about that and I'm like that there is no I mean and I you know yeah okay I started when my lights went out I started reading drunk in love I'm like oh, we can, I, I, love, can, I love that one I can suspend disbelief because y'all I'm sitting in the dark right now <laughs> but I can suspend disbelief I can do a lot but I'm like 42 and 20 and not 42 and I work at Costco like 42 and she's making $250,000 in the 90s no way that's not happening there is yeah. none there is none that would that's all i'll say <laughs> <laughs> it just Amy, doesn't exist. Saying, i keep saying Amy, i was just saying, saying that I, can y'all hear me okay yep. i'm sorry yep. i'm on my phone <laughs> you're fine okay i was just agreeing with um jessica you know being in my 40s I cannot see <laughs> dating somebody in my 21 because I got a 27 year old daughter. Okay. I know well, it's different, you, you know, from Stella's situation. <laughs> However, um, I read the reviews before I read the book. I thought I read the book, but as I read it, I didn't remember um, a lot of the things that happened. Of course, you know, I watched the movie, but just based on the book, I didn't remember a lot of the things that happened. Um, so I didn't do, you know, about the run on sentences. I was like you, Renee, I almost put it down, but I was like, no, I want to be a part of the book chat. So yeah. I kept reading it. I was able to tolerate it, you know, because yeah, yeah, I good word. still read physical books. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way. Tolerate. That's a good, good a, uh, yeah. <laughs> way to describe it. <laughs> but I, had a, I had an issue with their relationship because it wasn't like in a movie to where they spent more time together in the movie. So I, I didn't understand them getting married. Yes, it happened like, so quickly. For me, that didn't, it happened very quickly. They fell in love like after the first time, you know, they had sex or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It just, uh, 
I yeah, enjoyed it was the like, story, but it just didn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's over like a six week period of time, I think, like when you calculate it, because there was like three weeks where she didn't see him or whatever. But yeah, when you look at the whole, it's like a month and a half right. at max, maybe two months. But yeah, and again, you've only slept with him once and you're thinking about this guy nonstop. Like it's just, it was a lot. It was definitely a lot. Yeah, was like and a then the, the, the fact that he didn't call her for some days on end and I'm like well what was he doing and of course we all know the story of him you know ending up being gay or whatever do y'all remember in the book where they talked about his roommate yeah and the way yeah. she described him like he was gay so I yes. was like wait a minute were they messing around <laughs> yeah yeah she, they did because he was like trying to yeah. make these he would say these things to Stella like oh yeah he came by to see me today or come drop his key off or whatever and I was like come on or he's my roommate. So I just did the, of course, I did the Google search. I was like, how much was 250000 in the 90s today? <laughs> 250000 in the 90s is equivalent in purchasing power, purchasing power to $583,000 wow. now. Yeah, so you, you know cannot that. tell me that a woman oh, that was wow. $1,000,000 a year was going to marry a man that she known for six weeks. Like, <laughs> it was 20 who was 20 and was was working at a hotel no (laughs) that's not happening (laughs) i mean golly but but that's exactly what happened to terry though she did that that fooled her and fooled her to the point of being gay what happened to that man he you know what i pulled up a clip on youtube because i you know i was doing a lot of research when i read the book and I didn't know that that Oprah had a sit down with yes. Terry McMillan. I remember that. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't yeah. remember. <laughs> I do. But he said he didn't know he was gay until he was twenty, and I'm like, really, Negro? Right, really? <laughs> <laughs> really, <laughs> really Negro? <laughs> <laughs> ah, hilarious. Now, uh, that was. I remember that. that. I remember that sit down and I her being so angry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I forgot about that, but yeah, I remember. She it. was so angry. She was like, oh, yeah. She was, yeah, she was not happy during that interview. Mm-mm. There should be a place where uh old Oprah episode stream just like all the Isn't it? Stuff. Oh, I gotta find it. I swear we have the DVDs the with own. like yeah, but we used to have the DVD like when she retired or whatever. There was like a 20th anniversary, like it had all of her episodes. I need to find that because I think my a mom- lot of the seasons are on the, they're either on OWN or whoever, if Paramount or Peacock, oh, whoever that? had that. Yeah. Yep. They were on there, but it's not like all of them, but it's a lot. And I had started going back. I think it started maybe like season three. And I had I started bet- and started watching. I bet it's on YouTube. Probably. Some of it might be. I, yeah, you know, Terry Oprah's McMillan, Oprah, full on. on. Look, look first, I typed in Terry go. McMillan, and it, the first thing that came up was on Oprah, full episode. Mm, yep. <laughs> it's worth a watch. His, is, it was his a name movie. is Jonathan Plummer. Is that it? Yes, yeah, that's, that's him. him. That's, that's yeah. him. Oh, I know y'all can't see it on my phone, but he, oh, there's, yeah. Uh-huh. So apparently, she sat that's down to talk with him, him, too. Because yeah. you know who he always reminded yeah. me of was Star Jones's Al husband who is being gay. Yep. He reminded me of Al. <laughs> every time I see, I watch uh, Fox Soul or whatever it's called, TGI Friday. Every time I look at him, all I think about is him and, and Star. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. So, he um, he's bisexual now, but every time I look at him, I'm like, yep. What's her name that played Sandra on 227? Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Yes. Yeah. Then she married somebody too that was kind of the hairstylist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on now. I'm not, I don't want to be stereotypical, but come on now. So there was a super soul. Sorry. There was a super soul Sunday conversation with Terry McMillan and her gay ex husband, is what it says. Uh, it's an 18 minute episode, but yeah, there's a, apparently a super soul. It was posted two years ago. So interesting maybe that's like an update to where they stand now but you know what speaking somewhat terry to me i don't know if y'all follow her on twitter she just comes off as bitter and angry all the time like 
So you could kind of feel this in some of the stuff that she was saying and that like, even just taking jabs at her own book, like those women are stupid. Like she's talking about the characters in her own book, calling them stupid. And so like, just Terry has this thing about her personality where she just comes off as a negative Nancy to me anyways. So I don't know. No, I agree. And I don't know, I don't know if I knew her personality well enough, but before that guy, but I felt like since then it's been really bad. <laughs> Worse, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, because there was something I think I posted in the book group like maybe a year, year and a half ago. She did something on Twitter and she was like attacking somebody, and everybody was like, Auntie, you gotta chill. Oh, she's rude on Twitter sometimes. Yeah. I but I can't, she was attacking Zendaya. somebody. What'd you say? I can recall her attacking Zendaya. Let me look in the group. Yes, that's what it was. Cause I'm like, it was someone who was like in the spotlight now and she was going off about it yeah she's like she's a beast on twitter sometimes i'm like oh my god <laughs> right i'd be like sis you need to calm down <laughs> doing too much mm -mm -mm. <laughs> crazy enough well amy i'm glad to hear you had the same thoughts about the book i wasn't sure where you stood with that but I talked to some of these ladies because it was dragging. I was trying to get it through. I had I had a feeling when Amy said, "Oh, I got a lot to say." I was like, "Oh, Amy, Amy feels the way we feel." Yeah, I thought the same thing. I saw that and I was like, "Ooh, I can't wait to, see, to hear what Amy has to say on it." Because yeah, I and this book was yeah, four hundred. So many questions. <laughs> yeah, I just same. don't remember this book being that annoying. It, it was annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I was more so like, when is this going to be done? Like, I've got to finish this. But like, I mean, I kid you not today listening to it. I would probably like zone out for a minute and then pop back in, listen to what she's saying and then zone out again, be scrolling my phone. And I'm like, OK, she's in the mall with her son. He wants his ear pierced. OK, popping back out. Like it was that's literally how I was listening to it today. I'm like, OK, I've got the gist of the book, but it it was hard. I was like. Could not wait to be done. I was thinking this. I should have just kept the abridged version because I now I feel like <laughs> <Dang people. laughs> no, waste of time. I started it and I was like, okay, she skipped a whole entire long drawn out paragraph. And then when it happened again, I'm like, no, I can't do this because I'm reading as I'm listening and I'm like, she's skipping all this. Now I see why. <laughs> Like, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> there was a whole chunk of the book we could have just took out like honestly and I guess I the type of romance I want when I think of a romance book like I want steamy like there just wasn't enough interaction between the two of them as an actual couple and their chemistry for me it was more so oh he's not calling me and I guess again it's a sign of the times right where you have to leave voicemails for people or leave messages and you can't like just pick up a cell phone and talk to somebody so yeah very different times and then thinking of like the time frame shy guy is the song that's playing and i'm like oh bad boys like i just want to watch the movie because that's every time i hear that song is what i think of i have never um i've never returned a kindle i've never returned an audible i did return the audible <laughs> and i might consider returning the kindle because my library wasn't going to have it in time for me to be done i didn't finish it anyway but i was like mm, yeah i might just let this one go back yeah, this made one, I didn't, one I didn't have to fight for it with my library. It was wide open twice. I checked it out. Uh -huh. and I was like, I can Same. see why. I checked it out twice, back to back. Yep. That was me too. Said, some Baton Rouge is trying to read this book because why is this <laughs> not available in 2023? Right. <laughs> not like it came out yesterday. No. 1991. I didn't know I could return an Audible until I looked at my library and i was like oh it says return yeah blue oh, says yeah, go on. but the more recent um the one that my other book club is reading it was available and i was like hmm. well who's reading stella right now but isn't the movie didn't it just hit netflix or something oh is it okay it was on hulu the last time i checked um i don't know if it's still there because I, I was looking at it when we were when i was talking about doing the watch party but um i don't know maybe it is Netflix. it was new then or it was leaving then i don't know i just know it was on hulu i don't know if it was coming or going but it was just at the time that's where it was streaming where i could get it 
I'm wondering if maybe that's it's for sure not on Netflix right now because I checked when we um I think one of us was talking about watching it instead. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me do that. And then I checked Netflix. That was Keila. It's like mm. I'm gonna go ahead and just watch this. I'm gonna check uh Hulu right now. Blue says hey. His <laughs> name is Blue. I was like, Blue! big old baby. It's what? you know, the lights are out, and then Zeus is not here. Zeus is at my parents' house because I was out of town Aww. and I just had to go up there to get him. And he's been kind of mopey. It's like he misses his brother. Oh, hi, Blue. Blue. He here. was where? At daycare? No. Oh. Zeus is at my parents because I was gone this weekend. And then I was I busy. Saying... And then the power's out today. And I was like, yeah, I'm not driving. Oh, thing. I thought you were saying Blue just came from daycare. I'm like, probably got in oh. trouble again. No, he was, th- he was there yesterday, though. And he oh. just... Yeah, he was fine. Did you he behave was there yourself, week. Blue? He he tried to. He was there this weekend too. Say hey. <laughs> he's so he's <laughs> literally Blue's sitting here. Hey Blue. He is, he's seventy five percent human. I I I am convinced. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the way he'd be sitting on that couch watching TV. Big chilling. Like them little sun bears. Y'all seen them in the um the news lately? Those bears would be standing up on their hind legs, waving at people. So when- the clip that they showed looks like, like somebody yes. but then when they show that when you go and watch the full video when he sits back down you can tell it's a bear yeah they just said like they're it's not like that happening. yeah they're just still like that because i was like oh no that's a human i don't think i'm trying to find this is a human <laughs> now stella i can't it's not on hulu anymore Well, what was worse, this or life after death? Oh, oh no. life after oh, death. death. Life after death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. It's on Disney Plus. What? Oh. Uh how still it looks like it's on Disney Plus. Huh. Everywhere so else I was going to say, Talisha, no matter how much I don't believe a 42-year-old woman making $600,000 a year. Oh, thank the Lord my life just came <laughs> <laughs> No matter how, how much I do not believe a woman making $600,000 a year would date a 20-year-old man, marry a 20-year-old man, I know for a fact that there is no, well, I don't know for a fact, but I would pray that there is no one in hell having sexy times with a dog. <laughs> 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 That book. Oh God, that book was so. Oh awful. God. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you was... said you've never returned a Kindle or Audible, I'm like, oh, you just suffered through life. I have. I've <laughs> just. I, you know. I think I feel like for newer releases, Terry made her money on this book already. She don't need it. I'm. I'm getting my thirteen ninety nine back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my credit. Card. I know. Felt like I wanted to tweet something about this book, but then I was like, Terry gonna come for me if I uh I said the same thing. <laughs> she gonna she gonna fight. I was like, she is not gonna be subtweeting me or or replying to my tweet talking about talking trash. But that, that's well, she better not go on Goodreads because they, right? they took a damn food there. <laughs> <laughs> they did. I was that's generous with my three stars that I gave her. Exactly. I, I think that's the beauty of, of book club though, is Every time we're not, you know, you're not always going. It's nice when everybody disagrees, when everybody agrees that it was. We're all on the same page. Yeah. (laughs) We kind of felt those vibes. And I came in there and I was like, these run on sentences. Like, this is just horrible. (coughs) Wait, didn't I see Bernadette join and then disappear? She did. She came on there and popped off. Yeah. Hila says she's picking up her son from a band. So she's going to pop on as soon as she gets home. Um. Yeah, uh, it was bad, but we survived. Made we made it, it through. I mean, you guys you scared me. I was like, I'm not. <laughs> it honestly, it wasn't worth it. And in my mind, this is the first time that, well, life after death too. But this is like the second time that I've contemplated not finishing a book. But I've never not completed a book club read. I, yeah, like, I can't. I gotta suffer. Even I've. I have to know to discuss how much I hate it. Like I just have to finish it and whatever. And I can't 
Like there was one point in time, I think when my grandfather passed two years ago, I was like almost two books behind. So at some point in that year, I had to go back and catch up on the reads because I just did not feel like reading that entire summer. But then I eventually was like, okay, I'm caught up on book club reads now. But yeah, I've not missed one. So I had to suffer through it, but I don't think I'll be doing Terry again. Yeah. (laughs) Or or her newer stuff. I I haven't let this one go. (laughs) Yeah. Some of her mm. stuff mm. may be better, but uh, uh. well, what about disappearing acts? Because I've never seen the the movie, but I heard y'all talking about it. So, have you read the I book? Recall, I read disappearing acts. I don't, I don't, but I don't recall this being as annoying as it was. Mm-hmm. Hey, I read disappearing acts and I watched the movie. I don't recall the writing being, yeah. this, but it was so long ago that I cannot confirm that it wasn't. But I so don't maybe. Know. Maybe it's just this one. Maybe this is like a one-off. Because again, like I said, I remember relating to Waiting to Exhale so much. Like, yeah. I think at the time I was the same age as Whitney's character. Like, I just felt it felt it was so relatable at the time. And But I don't remember the writing, like, turning me off. I remember enjoying that book. So I just don't. I and that but wasn't it's been that so long. long. Yeah. Because we read that, what, within the last two years, I man? During COVID. I mean, I want to say maybe 2020 yeah I, I have it here on the shelf like i know we read that one and disappearing acts i feel like i read that one too and i it wasn't this <laughs> this it was, it was just a run on sentences were like yeah. Take a break. yeah like the entire book so right. i'm like book and to hear Alexa reading it that way, it was, uh, <laughs> at first, she, I when I first opened the book, I tried it, and that's when Alexa was acting a damn fool. And I was trying to figure out like the commands for her and everything. So I had it, I guess, from whatever last book I read forever ago. It was set to one and a half. So not only was like Alexa reading fast as hell, it was these run on sentences and I'm like, <laughs> what in the hell? And so that's probably why I couldn't get it going is because I'm trying to stop it, trying to figure out how to change the speed. And finally I figured it out, like just say Alexa reads slower or whatever. But like she was reading fast <laughs> as hell and then these run on sentences and I'm like, what is happening right now? I didn't know you could tell her to read faster. I let her read a regular You speed. can. I didn't know how to change it because I tried it on the app. Nothing would work. I tried it on the actual, like, because I have the, the show or whatever. And so I tried it on the screen. Nothing would happen. But if you actually say, Alexa, read slower, she'll change. Or if you say, read faster, and then obviously nice. rewind, rewind okay. and fast forward, she'll do that. But yeah, if you tell her, Alexa, read slower, that's the command to, like, yeah, slow her down from reading so damn. Okay. Long. Good to know. Forgot you can do it on show or show one I have. I think I have an echo and a show. I think I have a yeah, show. That's what I have, the echo show. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, she hasn't. Oh, she's listening. Because I've said we've said her name way too much. She's she's listening. <laughs> she's back there listening. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. But I was using it right on there. my phone and she said, Oh, I can't do that or something. But then when I closed it and went back to it, it sped up. She understood, yeah. And I was like, oh, she's reading faster. And then it was really funny. <laughs> I love playing with my Alexas. I we have one in just about every room. And Dang. now so like when Tatum's playing his video games and he's locked in his room, I'll talk to my show and be like, Alexa, play like Aqua's Barbie Girl in his room. And then all of a sudden you'll just hear, I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> Look, mine's going off right now too. <laughs> I'm looking at mine because I'm like, I'm surprised she didn't start playing something. Mine is, and it's right. Yeah. It's literally because <laughs> it my is right behind right? my laptop. Oh, yeah, but you know what? My lights are out, and I might not have internet still. Mm. My, lights, get my lights are back on. But maybe not, my lights are back, but I may not have Wi-Fi. Alexa, yeah, I'm picked up. Yeah. Oh no, she's up. She's waking up. You see her back there making a little <laughs> circling. Up. Yeah. Maybe she caught her voice. <laughs> it's not being mine. Because I tell you what, mm-hmm. the damn Alexa is a lifesaver. <laughs> Don't play. I look. Said She's over there making noise. <laughs> I said what did you say? On her all day long. That's me too. The kids, like when they're in school, they're, they're it's their alarm. It's their okay. It's time to go, you know, to the bus stop or whatever. And then I have reminders for take people to tutoring, go to the bus stop to pick up kids, whatever it is. I have alarms just set. 
to go off every day. She starts my she starts my work like the the station I like to listen to while I'm working. She starts that at eight fifteen every morning. Wow! During the week and 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 what was it the other night? Oh, the other night, Renee and Asia, you appreciated. I said, remind me to get up and get on the bike at six a.m. <laughs> and, and, and at six, the alarm went off. She was like, I said, I said, get your ass on the bike. She's like, remind her to get your ass on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. it. I set timers too. Like if I put something in the air fryer and I need to go upstairs, I'll be like, hey, set a timer in my room so it tells me when to come mm-hmm. back down and get my food or whatever. I use it for everything. It's a life-saving tool. Yeah. I thought this movie was on something. I don't have to pay extra. For I, it. I think it's Disney Plus, but that's it's I just I, logged into my Disney Plus. It's not on there. Oh uh, damn, because when I searched it, that's what one of the options. Let me look. Everything else seems like you have to pay. Apple. Um, I sworn I saw that recently on something. Maybe it's gone now, though. Yeah, every it was Hulu, but I, it's gone now. Watch movie, YouTube. You have to pay three nine. Everything you have to pay three ninety nine. There's nothing where it's streaming. I yeah. said it's cinema. I'm not gonna pay for it. Watch it again. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll probably watch it tomorrow on Amazon or something. So the book came out in nineteen ninety and the movie came out in 1998 quick turnaround Hmm. what happened to uh that just remind me because um i know keila posted tody atomi adiyemi the other day when they were supposed to do children of blood and bone as a book yep as a movie yep yeah as a movie sorry as a book yeah it is a book (laughs) as a movie i'm like that's been years yeah, and, and when she posted that today, I went look. She hasn't posted anything since 2022, like almost. Yeah, a week. she's just oh, wow. completely falling off the face of the earth. But she used to remember yeah. when, we, when we were reading Children of Blood and Bone, and she was posting all the time. We were like, "Girl, you better go right. We need this sequel." We used or to she, say that all the time. Yeah, she had those wombat costumes and stuff, and I was like, "I need you to be writing this book, ma'am." Right. Like, what are you doing? Get to work. But is she the one that said somebody stole her book title or book something? Uh-huh. Her, there was, was, I remember that. It, or it, it was, was like, something similar. It was like Fern Michaels or one of those popular ones. Yeah. Somebody like that. I wonder if she kind of disappeared. No, she al- yeah, she yeah. almost lost her damn mind over that, I think. And that's kind of what spiraled. And I think she's just kind of taken a social media break yeah. since then. She's kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. Which sucks because her books are really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to go back to go and back. read them. <laughs> yeah, I need to go. I need to go back and read the first one. Cause isn't there a sec a sequel? Mm-hmm. Yes. First, what is it? Yeah, yes. I need to Virtuing. read the first one again because I don't really remember what happened. Beast mm-hmm. of Prey is a pretty good um YA fantasy kind of along those lines. I heard. I need to um I haven't read the second one. But I, I read it because I was doing a promotion with um, Penguin Teen. And I read it for that. But yeah, it was actually pretty good. So that's not really a genre that I enjoy, but it was good. Yeah, I have Beast, I'm, look, I have Beast of Prey in my up next library that constantly changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm going to have to read Bump First Ladies Up. But that was has always been high on my list. I just... I'm going to go for the perfect marriage right now to kind of get that Kindle. Um, perfect marriage. The perfect marriage. It's on that Kindle challenge. Oh, is it? Uh, the one, what was it? The Is it a prime read or something it's like that? Very, oh, okay. The very first one. I, I need to start my um, the book that I picked for that. I think I have all of them right now. I just need the the the... Geneva Rose is the who it's by. I know y'all can't I see need that, the, but the overachiever. That's what I need right now. I haven't even looked at these things since I've been on vacation. That's how bad. I'm probably missing a lot. You're mm-hmm. not because they haven't had one. They don't have another one until the fifth. So the only one revealed was that first one? Those two, the overachiever, the one yeah, out of eight. I haven't done that unlock okay when you've read complete eight books okay yeah, remember sure la- the last challenge though i read the eight books and it didn't i don't know i, I read like nine. 
I didn't get that one this time. I swear. It's weird. It, and yeah, I know you were saying that. Like they keep changing for everybody. That's weird. My mind is the one out of eight. But remember, last time it didn't give me um, what's that crazy people book? Verity. It didn't count Verity for yeah, me. Yeah, one of mine didn't count either towards it. So I've okay. So I've got to do Prime Reader, which I'm gonna knock out the Perfect Marriage with that, and then. Oh, you have Prime. I have Unlimited. Okay, I'm like yeah. Oh. We did talk yeah, about that. It's one of the prime reads that's on there because there wasn't that the choices weren't that great for that. Yeah, it's so I, I have bookish, which was a uh, read a Kindle book or something. Mm-hmm. And I had bookworm. I think I had to read maybe like three Kindle books, but I don't have the read up to eight for this you one. You don't have I that have one in the read. mystery room? It's the it's second true. one. Yes, right. The second one from the top. It's I know you the can't book see and bookworm are in that books completed one, but in that mystery reveals, you should it's have a. I'll turn. I was doing my hair, but I'm turning this on. Real quick. Oh, no, no, it's the can... middle one. If you can see from my phone, can you see my phone? Yeah, but what? It's, it's not that there. middle one. I don't have it. What is that? That's in your mystery reveals. That's weird. weird. What does your middle one say? It looks like you already have the bookmark for it. That's the can the prime. It was Prime Day. Okay, so what's the one that's not unlocked? The on one the, that's not unlocked the, the summer read. That's the very the fifth. Oh, I don't have that then. I don't have the summer read. I online. don't have that one either. Oh, really? Mm-mm. How you I'm got a different with... child? They gave you a different. Yeah, mine just <laughs> said Prime that's Reader and one, That's my next one to unlock. The mystery, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I have that mystery one, but my very first one is summer read. So what's yours? Like, what's the category? Or what's the the it's just the prompt? Because we talked about it. That's why I thought y'all had it. It was just um pick from a list of their qualifying books that's it but it's not read eight books or whatever it was no mine is definitely overachieving yeah, mine, mine's different too yeah oh. jess and i have the same thing mm-hmm. i, wow. I kind of want to see your summer because i bet those selections are better than what we have <laughs> they are because i was excited i was like oh shoot look at this <laughs> i was like i bet it's better than what we have that prime was slim pickings man that is so weird. That's never happened. Yeah, look, close it out and refresh. Girl, no, ma'am. No. <laughs> I was on the struggle bus this month. I think I only read like five books. So no, don't add. And I'm normally average like 10. So no. I, that, yeah. I would have had five done this month if it wasn't for Terry. If I could have finished that book in this, I, it took me over a week to finish it. Nine days to finish that book. Otherwise, I would have had five for the month, but... It's all good. It'll roll over into this month. Asia, that's not only, and Renee, that's not only, because most of our friends are like, oh my God, you put us to shame. I'm like, that's true. One, one a year. Hell. <laughs> I think my problem is, is I read S.A. Crosby before I went on vacation on the 7th. I finished two books while I was on vacation. That's the first time. Usually I don't even, I don't think I complete one book while on vacation. I might read the mo- the majority of it, but never actually, I finished two books while on vacation so I was actually on a roll when I got back home and then for me to like try to finish this Terry McMahon oh no I read Goodbye Earl that's true the last two books I read were like 400 and some pages so Mm -hmm. I do have to give myself credit that was 800 pages that I read over 800 pages that's a lot yeah yeah Goodbye Earl was actually pretty good a lot going on in that book I might read that next I keep hearing it's good it was good if you like Lisa Cross Smith it's good um (laughs) Yeah, it just kind of, it's like a now and then type book. So it flashes between these four friends and when they were in high school. And then it also flashes into their adult life. Like they've reunited for the first time in all four of them in 15 years at a wedding. So mm-hmm. it just kind of follows this trail of where they are, where they were then and where they are now kind of thing. And it's it's actually- That's the one you said, there's a song. Yeah, isn't there a song? Yes, Dixie, the chicks. Sorry, I want to call them Dixie chicks. The chicks, yeah, it's called that. Goodbye Earl. So they make, they actually, she makes a lot of references to that song um, and the chicks in the book or throughout the book. She makes a few references. I did my prime read book today was the one about two girls who were friends and then one of them ends up in a cult. And I was like, Ooh. what? Ooh, <laughs> what book is that? Look. It's, it was the, oh shoot. It's a you know, prime read. You know, the, today is the first, well, yesterday was the first. So oh, was, yeah, oh, the oh, that's the book you selected. Mm-hmm. So it was called it's called Salt House Place. 
But I was like, this is, it sounds like one of one of Erica's favorites. So I was like, oh, I'm picking this one. <laughs> Erica be all over the place with her reads, man. I'm like, yo, okay. all 30 bucks. Like, she's in a cult. And this girl, I guess the other girl's trying to get her out, but it's a suspense. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to read this one in the woods, but I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one that used to be popular. I think she was in some type of, maybe she was a Mormon. I don't know. The Book of Essie. Have any of y'all read that? I've heard mm-hmm. of that one. What's it called? It's The Book of Essie. And it came out. I have heard of that one. I've seen a lot of people post it on like Goodreads and things like that. Um, I saw that book this past week or something. It came out 2018. I don't know if y'all can see. I know it's hard. Sorry, my light is all. But yeah, anyways, I, think I got that one in one of the uh, book of the month reads one time. I think I have that. Yeah, she's. Oh, okay. So she's it's a wildly captivating story of a 17-year-old daughter of an even evangelical preacher, star of the family's hit reality show, and the secret mm-hmm. pregnancy that threatens to blow their entire world apart. Yeah, I think I have it. Is, is that based on a real I don't know. It doesn't say it sounds like it could be. That's what I'm like. Could be, right? Do y'all watch the righteous gemstones? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. On on Max, oh my god, it's so awful but so funny. <laughs> it's this mega church family, and they are just crooks and criminals. Yeah. I've heard of it. <laughs> oh my god, wow. it's so like if you're sensitive to church stuff, don't watch it. <laughs> but it is so funny. <laughs> that sounds good. I wanted to add that to my list the other day. Since I have finished um, A House Divided, I finished last night. Oh, nice. Did any of y'all watch Big Brother? Nah. I used to be a huge Big Brother fan. The last few years, I fell off. It comes on tonight. The, fr- the house? I have like a retrospective. On Man, my- that, yeah, the house that I, I saw pictures of today, and I'm like, holy shit, that thing is, it's like, you know, the typical sets have been the same for years, but they've like yeah. redone the okay. design oh um, no I, I i watched from the first season all the way through and even had like went to like a big brother fi- finale party but it was like right around 9 11 was the first they had to tell them in the house. they had to tell them in the house that 9 11 had happened and one of them was from wow. new york wow but, uh, that's how long ago like i started watching but then i guess a few years ago i fell off because i was like i cannot keep up with sunday wednesday and thursday every week like, listen let me tell you so between big brother <laughs> there are three nights and then i watch love island which comes on six nights a week mm. literally every night but now that's on peacock so it comes on every night at nine o'clock but it's so good i can't so balancing tv wednesday nights is crazy because then i watch um tyler perry sisters mm. That's another one. Uh, are is anybody caught up with that? Because mm. so ready for tonight, <laughs> man. Listen, I can't stand Karen's ass, bro. Oh God, I want her. Fatima, to go my girl. I want be like Fatima. Go beat, go beat her up real quick. Like just, <laughs> she's just like, oh, she is wants that to reality or somewhere. that's a scripted show. No, it's a scripted show, but it's actually it's Tyler Perry, but it's really good. It's about these. Well, initially, yeah, four women, right? It started off as four friends and then one of them is a lawyer and she has a secretary named Fatima. And after the first season, like she just became such a fan favorite that they added her. So it's like five women that follows their love lives. And one of the lawyer, the way it starts off, she's messing with a married man and Karen is with Zach. Or no, did they break up at that point? She was with Zach at the beginning. Yeah, they were together for three years and he was just like an ain't shit dude. And then they break up. He ends up with the assistant. And now he's like this great boyfriend and dude to her. And this girl, Karen, is just like, what the fuck? Like, I gave you three years of my life. And now you're treating her like gold. Everything that I wanted, you're giving her. Mm. Um, The other one, Danny, she's so damn hard-headed. She's messing with a white guy. Um, But he's actually like mixed in real life. Yeah. Yeah but he's fine like he's so good looking um but he but he's playing portraying a white guy in there so she has her battle with like 
uh, do I want to date this white dude? Like, you know, we have nothing in common. Yeah, he is. Him about being around cows. But he's <laughs> fine as hell. Um, and then who am I missing? It's the... the two shoes. Why did she go to jail? I missed that. I didn't... Oh, like, bless her heart. I think she's the just... bank robbery. There was a bank robbery in their store and the guy planted it on the people that work there. The guy that he actually said, robbed he it. He said so. that she did it and the guy that works with her... Maurice? Is it Maurice? The gay guy. I can't think of his name. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Maurice. Mm-hmm. He said that they did it. And he was on a phone call with Maurice and was like, you know, why did y'all do this or whatever? And Maurice thinking that he's playing, he was like, yeah, yeah, we did it. And they're using that as evidence. As evidence, yeah. So it's a lot going on right now. But the girl, the, the secretary that's now with the guy, his ex-girlfriend is pregnant. And it's like she was for episodes for seasons she was going back and forth who's the father the, the current guy that she's been sleeping with or is it the ex that's now with the other girl it's it's that's a lot funny. but for time I period it's pretty good. this one <laughs> and yeah it's on bet plus that's actually how i started watching it on bet plus Man, I you know i can't my bet plus the other day i know <laughs> reactivate what mother-in-law started <laughs> i need to reactivate it yeah, yeah oh, but it, that's how i actually watched it was like the first three seasons or so i watched on bet plus and then I don't know. I got caught up and was able to watch the last couple ones on TV. But yeah, it's good. It's good. I would recommend I guess watching. I haven't watched it in a long time because when I watched it, it was like on BT, like new and yeah, coming out. Yeah, it's, it's still BT. it still is the, the current season. It's the but old yeah. episodes if you're behind. Oh, yeah, you'll have to stream on BET Plus. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm binge watching and trying to keep up with. I just finished Hijacked earlier. Oh, man. Did a new episode this week come no, out? I didn't, I didn't yeah, the finish. last episode. Today? Yeah, today. Oh, shit. Oh, I today? Watch it yeah, it came out. I gotta watch it then. I'll okay, watch it tomorrow. maybe I'll watch that in the woods. <laughs> yes, yeah. You should. That's okay. good. That's good. I yeah, just kept real good. I didn't want to watch any thrillers or watch any like scary like murder kind of thrillers. It's not scary. I wouldn't it's say that, but it's suspenseful. Sense. Yeah, it couldn't happen in the woods because it's on a plane. So I'd right, be right, right. Like I didn't want to read any kind of creepy like that. What was that crazy book I read years ago? And I could not sleep. Um, <laughs> I'll be gone in the dark. I could not. I couldn't read that book at night because I was like, this is because he was a peeping Tom. He was looking in windows and stuff at nighttime. And I was like, I can't read this book at night. But I read it in two daylit days, two days because I could not put it down. <laughs> That's but hilarious. when it got dark, I was like, Mm-mm, I got to put it down. <laughs> it was so good. That's like me when I used to watch America's Most Wanted, knowing that that shit was real and like these um, people could just come out and you're still looking for them. And I'd watch it. Um, you know, it used to come um, on at like nine o'clock at night on a Saturday. And you just, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> but I love, I love that type of, uh, I love those type of shows. Mm-hmm. No, I Unsolved Mysteries and Robert Stack and that music. That show used to creep, but I love to watch it. But I would be so scared. Yeah, Which my one? favorite was the first Unsolved Mysteries. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They have that on Netflix now. I don't yeah, know if you watch. Did. Yeah. So every time they come with a new season, I watch that stuff. Um, there's one on uh, HBO or Max that I just finished watching. It's like it's about married couples and how the spouse like kills their spouse. Like it goes through. There's like five episodes. There's a black couple on there too. And I was just like, ooh wee. Um, but it, yeah, I'm not watching good. that stuff in the woods. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> oh, scary. Oh, I'll be looking, I'll be thinking everybody I see out there is a murderer. <laughs> yep. Be wondering who's coming to get you. Yeah, but I texted with this. Well, I was messaging with this girl who I know who went to the same one. And she mm-hmm. said, obviously, the cell service is not that bad. Okay. I was like, well, don't tell me that. I was like, but at least I'll know if I have to get in touch. But they have a landline, apparently, in the cabin that you can use to call if you need. Oh, coach. cool. Mm-hmm. You're but just I'm going by yourself that. just to hang out? Yep. That's nice. I'm, me and I'm the dog. jealous. Me and the That's dog. Be... They have a hot tub in there? No. It's just Damn. a little tiny house. It's one of those getaway houses. And so you book it like close to whatever your metro city is. And okay. then once you book it, they give you the address. And it's a campground. It's a actually really a campsite. 
And so they say like at night, you can't tell that you're out there with other people, but during the day you can see the other cabins in the distance, but okay. they're far enough off that you don't feel like. Yeah, you know, somebody's right up on you. Yeah. That's cool though. And that sounds exciting. You just pay like a pet fee, but there's no Wi-Fi. There's no TV in it. So like you could bring your iPad and stuff though. Like if you download stuff, you can watch yeah. it. Yeah. Two burner stove, a mini fridge, but hot water, flushable toilets, drinkable water out of the sink. Um, and then there's like a hiking trail and all. And so, you know, my job gives us all like a, a week long sabbatical every August. Everybody is off. Wow. And then with my junior league presidency, I was like, okay, I will not be fully able to take advantage of this week off if I stay home. Cause I'm going to be working. I'm going to be doing junior league stuff. So yeah. I prepped everybody like I'm going to be gone for two full days <laughs> With a half a day on Wednesday, half a day on Saturday, and everybody started freaking out. And I was like, y'all be all right. Y'all figure it out. Right, like, that part. Email? email? Nope. But y'all will figure it out. And I'll be back. I'll be back Saturday. I just need a minute. I just need to breathe. Yeah, that was me when I was on vacation. I'm like, hey, y'all need something? Text Melissa. She'll help you because I'm out. Yeah. Like, And the fact that they panic like that is an indicator that you need to breathe. because I need to breathe. <laughs> they right, like, they be all what? up in your ass. Yes. Well, y'all been going like y'all went to the beach and you went to this. I, I'm going to the woods. You will not reach me in the woods. <laughs> right. I'll take the. I ordered my Hello Fresh boxes. Well, a box because you know I got like just like the shrimp tacos and they have like a cheeseburger lettuce wrap kind of thing and I was like oh yeah. And the girl said the refrigerator is big enough that I could fit that in there. Oh, cool! So, so you like, have to worry I, about grocery shopping. You got your meals. I got my yeah, meals. You said they'll be here Tuesday, and I'll leave Wednesday. That's dope. Take some wine and go relax for a few days. Good stuff. I hope you real truly unwind and have a great time while you're out there. You deserve I will, it. I will do my best. <laughs> Take lots of books. Yep, that's the plan. No. You're taking blue with you or you're taking Zeus? I'm taking both of them. Sorry for me. <laughs> Zeus Hilarious. in a car for two hours. I don't know. He might he might stay at my parents, but blue is gonna come for sure. Blue, blue will sit in the front so, Blue will sit in the front seat with his paw out the window. Like oh this. yeah. Blue will be chilling on the window, like what's up? I can already see it. Just chilling, head out the window, arm rolled up, just chilling. Mm-hmm. Zeus is He's just a little baby though. Life. <laughs> he's so spoiled Zeus is so spoiled hilarious is Blue yeah. gonna survive without TV oh yeah he's look he's good I think I'm like keep your name out my mouth the only thing he's missing is a book where you going that's, that's all he's mean. just staring too look at him <laughs> he's like oh well, let me get oh, down don't be running now that the You're attention about is on me. you Blue come back here Blue said, look stretch it like a human <laughs> Blue, I know you hear me talking to you, Blue. He is so funny. He is so funny. Oh, God. Hilarious. Well, awesome. Thank you, ladies, for such an awesome chat. Thank you. I hate to cut us a little bit early, but I'm about to go watch Big Brother. I'm going to watch it. With, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go watch it. All right. It. I'm going to be texting you. We got to find our, our favorites. And all right. Y'all, I know y'all don't watch it, but there was this one year where all the Black people finally got smart and they I worked that. as a team. And they made it to like the final five or six. It was all black people. And that's the first time in history that had ever it happened. Out- and it was the first first time in history a black person had ever won. And I'm yep. like, this is what y'all need to do every wow. time. Band together. That was but tonight now, new season or something? Yeah, yeah, brand new. It starts tonight um, and this is at eight o'clock in, in like three years. minutes. It's on CBS. Yep. The house oh. is dope too. So I'm excited, but yeah, I'm about oh, to watch that. Black, so. black cake next month will make up for it. <laughs> yes, oh, let me go ahead and plug I'm that. Ask. <laughs> yes, everybody said it was good. So black, I black cake next month. I okay, well cake. I'm not gonna tell you. I, I'm not gonna tell you I stand alone in that opinion. But okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Don't tell me nothing. Let me just yeah. suffer through it then. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. All right, ladies, you guys okay. have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye, yeah. All right, bye. Bye, y'all.